Hello everyone, welcome to the Code Space YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to explain you about DVM in SOA. By end of this video, I will show you theory part as well as I will create one project in which I will use DVM so you can have a good understanding how to use DVM into our SOA application. So let's get started. So DVM stands for Domain Value Mapping. Uh, which will allow us to map values used in one domain with specific fields with another domain. So let's understand it with one example. So yeah, this is the example uh, we have seen in our real life that uh, some domains are using uh, country code and some another domain, suppose domain 2 uh, is using country name. Okay, so that's where uh, DVM comes into the picture. What DVM does is uh, it will convert uh, domain specific values to another domain specific value so here we have in in one domain like domain one in, is accepting in country code and another domain is accepting india country name okay so yeah we will map that thing uh, by using dvm okay i hope you understood this uh, and uh, yeah by this is the dvm lookup value function so this is the function dvm uh, colon lookup value and let's understand uh, parameters here so we have to pass five parameters uh, the first parameter is uh, don't worry like if you are not getting this don't worry we'll see later when we'll create our project uh, you will have a good understanding but for now just uh, clear these things we have to pass five parameters uh, while using this function uh, first parameter is uh, uh, dvm metadata uri so we have to pass uh, like DVM name into this first parameter. Okay, so this is this will be our DVM name. Then second parameter is con uh, second parameter is source column name. Okay, so here we we are having country code as a source column name. Okay, so that's why we have passed country code here. Then uh, another parameter is a source value. So when we'll create schema, then we have to pass that variable here as a source value okay so we will select that uh, variable here uh, and we will pay uh, we will use that variable okay and then another parameter which is target column name so we want to uh, we want to specify country code as a tar sorry i have done okay here is country name right so we have to pass the source column name so we want to pass country name as a source column name that's why we have taken country name here and uh, then we have to uh, add one uh, default value parameter here so we haven't given anything here you can give anything so if we are not uh, passing anything into dvm then uh, that will take default value uh, what we have uh, given here okay so that's why we have to pass default value if we want uh, we, if we haven't added anything then that will take default value okay i hope you guys understood this so, so now uh, rest of the things we'll see later now first of all let me go into my j developer we'll create one project and uh, we will understand it with uh, we will understand that with very clearly okay so yeah i have already created one project uh, i'll use that project schema for our convenience okay so let me first create one project which uh, will be our so app project okay so I will, I will choose SOA project. I will give the name as DVM project. DVM project. Next. Finish. Okay. So now as you can see our project uh, got created now uh, we have to create one schema so for now I will just create one empty schema here and we'll paste that schema's value so we don't have to create schema from scratch so I'll create one schema here XML schema and uh, I'll give name as uh, <coughs> a DVM DVM schema or I can give something else which is uh, test schema okay test okay 
okay so as you can see our schema got created now i'll just paste uh, paste uh, things from this schema so I, I will open this and i'll just copy paste this source to here you can also create this this is very simple thing okay so let me go here so as you can see uh, we have one request uh, element then we have uh, some uh, child elements like employee name and uh, country code okay and we, in our response we want uh, employee name and we don't want country code instead of country code we want country name so that's why i have created this element here so that is the thing now uh, now our schema got created now what we'll do now we'll go into our project and now we'll add one synchronous process here synchronous people process so i'll i'll uh, leave it the name as default then i'll select synchronous people process and uh, now i have to select uh, input and output uh, so i'll click on this search button and uh, from project schema files i will select this request as our input and uh, i'll select response as our output okay and i'll click on okay here okay so as you can see we, uh, we have created synchronous people process now i will double click on this okay so now as you can see we have our uh, synchronous people process now what i'll do so now we will we will add one assign activity here to assign dvm so before that also we have to uh, we have to create dvm so we will create dvm first so i'll just give the name as assign dvm here and uh, let's create one dvm file so right click on your project go to domain value map and uh, you can create uh, give a name so i will say my dvm okay my dvm and uh, one value will be country code and uh, country code will be in and one value output value will be country name okay country name is india okay so you can also add uh, more values from here click on this plus button and you can add values so suppose value is for australia we have ous and uh, name is australia okay okay so uh, this is for fine for now okay so we have created successfully our dvm file now uh, we we have to assign that dvm file here so click on this assign and uh, click on this output and uh, we we also can select dvm uh, file uh, function from here but i'll just uh, write dvm function from here so this is dvm colon look look up value look up value and we have to pass parameters so what is our um, dvm name which is my dvm dot dvm okay my dvm dot dvm and that is in dvm folder so we have to pass dvm slash okay dvm slash my dvm dot dvm then we have to pass a uh, uh, source column name so which is country code okay source column name and we have to pass uh, country code uh, input variable so from here input variable click on this expand this and click on this country code uh, variable then we have to pass target column name here for country code we have to uh, pass uh, in, in, in this string okay and uh, for country name we have to write this uh, column name okay so i'll say country name as a target column name okay country name okay in quotes okay now we will not pass any default value so i'll i will uh, pass empty string here and uh, 
yeah that's thing that's the uh, we have passed our five input variables uh, sorry input parameters here and click on ok button and uh, okay it got created now uh, we also have to uh, add one transform activity here so that will transform uh, this input to our output so assign one XSLT transport here and uh, I will just uh, give a name as transform data and double click on this select your input variables which is input variable okay and select your output target variable which is output variable click on apply okay and uh, yeah that's the thing now just uh, assign map this employee name to employee name and uh, for country code we'll map that with uh, country name okay so that is the thing now uh, rest of the thing like conversion will automatically done will be done by our dvm so don't worry about that okay okay <clears throat> so now our app is ready so only we have to only one thing is left which is deployment okay so now we will deploy this app into our uh, server so i'll paste i will deploy this in my local server okay okay so i will uh, choose default folder okay so until it uh, it is deploying into our server let's go to our slides so now uh, we have uh, we are here okay so now we will open our em and we'll check the result and then uh, we also will check into our soa composer if we want to update something into our dvms and then we don't need to add anything into our code okay we don't have to write here and we have to again deploy the thing that is not the case now this is the this is the magic of dvm so while using dvm we can update our dvm from server so that is the good thing so later we will uh, we'll go to our composer and we'll uh, update our dvm okay so for now we'll just go to our em and uh, we'll test the uh, our application okay so now i will open my local host em now uh, i will pass my credentials okay so now i'll click on this sign in button okay so now our enterprise manager got opened so now i will click on this panel and uh, now i'll go in this soa folder then soa infra and we will go into our soa folders so click on the soa folders then default and uh, here we will have our application okay so as you can see we are having this dvm project which we have created uh, recently so now i'll click on this project and uh, we'll test this so click on this test button okay so now uh, go below and uh, here you have to pass employee name so i'll just give my name which is raj and uh, for a country code i will pass uh, in as a country code okay so let's uh, test this service so i'll click on this test web service Uh, we are getting some error so let me check that error okay so here uh, I had done one mistake here so uh, I'll just copy this uh, whole thing and uh, click on this okay and I'll click on this uh, uh, cross delete button okay and uh, expand this output variable we have to assign that thing into our uh, country name uh, variable so click on this and paste that thing here and click on ok apply ok and uh, redeploy the project uh, 
let's see what happens. Now uh, again pass uh, parameters so I will pass my name again in capital or in small or you. Okay, so now I will pass country code as IN. Let's test our service. Okay, and we got successfully message response. So which is India into uh, into full name. So yeah, that's 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 the thing about DB. Yeah. So now uh, I will open uh, my SOA composer, and we'll see uh, how we can update our DVM from us uh, console. Okay. So I will say SOA slash composer. So from composer, we can uh, update our DVMs. So we don't need to uh, write anything into our code and we don't need to redeploy the things again and again. We can do that with uh, server. So that will be a convenience, convenient thing for us. So I'll pass uh, my credential. and uh, we will have our DVM here. Yeah, so here in composites, click on this default <coughs> and we are having our project which is DVM project. So as you can see, we are having our D. Okay, so this is our DVM. So I have messed something here. You have to pass OUS here and uh, Australia here as a country name. And also in your PC, you are getting some uh, create session option here. And by that, you can edit this uh, DVM here. So yeah, that's that's all about DVM. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification from our channel. And uh, please uh, uh, share this video with your friends. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.